Hey everyone, Hudson here, and welcome back to another video. Medium just announced some huge changes to their partner program that are sure to change the game for writers. So in this video, I'll be breaking down what they are, who they affect, and how you can capitalize on them moving forward. These are changes I absolutely love and effective August of this year are part of a larger vision to promote high quality personal stories on Medium as well as reduce clickbait. Part of how they're doing this is how they pay their writers. To quote Medium's official blog, moving forward, writing fewer stories with more heart and soul poured into them will perform significantly better. This is really exciting to me because it suggests that Medium will be taking a priority off of quantity and onto quality. So the first change they're making is opening up their partner program to 12 additional countries, as well as lowering the requirements to join the partner program. They are removing the 100 follower prerequisite to join the partner program and instead substituting it with um, the need to be a paid Medium member. This is really nice for new writers as you no longer have to invest weeks, if not months, into amassing a following to see how much you can potentially earn on Medium. Instead, you can pay the $5 USD per month, see how much you earn, and see if it's worth it to you. And the second major change that they're making is how they pay writers for their stories as well. To promote the idea of writers building close-knit communities of their own, Medium will now take engagement into account when calculating earnings for stories. This means claps, comments, and follows from readers. Writers will also earn additional earnings from reads coming from their followers. In the past, followers didn't matter on Medium as their algorithm didn't always direct your stories to them, but now you will actually earn more money per read from those people that follow you. Medium is also prioritizing the read ratio of your stories as opposed to overall views and reads. Medium now defines a read as anyone who reads your story for more than 30 seconds. Read ratio will be defined as your total amount of views divided by your reads. To quote Medium's official blog, a story that gets 100 reads in a day with an 80% read ratio will earn more than a story that has 100 reads at a 20% read ratio, even though they have the same number of reads. All this, again, is to promote the idea of creating a close-knit community as well as reduce clickbait on the platform. And lastly, they are abolishing the Medium referral program and instead tweaking their algorithm to push your stories out to those who are following you. So here's how you can capitalize on these recent changes. My initial thoughts when hearing these changes were that of excitement and a newfound motivation to write the type of stories I would like to write. Personally, I have found it hard to keep up with the algorithmic demands of Medium and have found myself decreasing the quality of my work just to be able to post two to three stories per week. So I'm hoping with these changes, it will allow writers to spend more time on their work and ultimately be rewarded for it. That said, that is yet to be seen and who knows how these changes will actually pan out in reality. After hearing these changes, two major strategies came to mind. The first being to prioritize your subscriber list. So on Medium, readers can sign up to have your story sent directly to them by email. Now that Medium is paying a higher rate for those that are following you, I think that will become very powerful in pushing stories out to those who follow you and enjoy your writing. And the other thing that came to mind that I think will be really helpful is the focus on personal stories. So as a writer, you always want to put the reader first and think about how you can offer value to them. That said, as Medium wants to promote personal stories, you can always package that value in a way that comes from personal experience or sharing insights about your life. Okay, so that is basically it. Those are my initial thoughts on Medium's recent changes. I will link Medium's official statement via their blog in the description below. And if you have any questions, please leave those in the comments. I love responding to those. I think that's it. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.